science friends. I'm Narwhal Nina with your high touch, high tech experiment of the day. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. It's falling down. Somebody call an engineer. We need some help. What is an engineer anyway? Engineers are a kind of scientist that plan and make things like airports, dams, bridges, and roads. If you've been in a modern building, you've been somewhere made by an engineer. And today, you are the engineer, and we are going to design the strongest bridge we can using gumdrops, toothpicks, cups or Tupperware, strong card-like paper for your road, and some heavy road traffic to test your bridge. I have some plastic cars, we have some animals, and some fossils and rocks. I'm saying today there's been an escape from the zoo, and we need to make the strongest bridge possible to get the elephants across. So, can you engineer the strongest bridge you can using candy and toothpicks? It might seem simple, but it's actually some amazing science. So, there is a secret to building a strong bridge, and it's right here. Can you guess what it is? The secret is triangles. First, you're gonna lay your toothpicks out on the outline of your bridge. And you can see we're making triangle shapes over and over again. Engineers know that a triangle is the strongest, most stable shape possible. Can you guys picture the pyramids of Egypt? They've been standing for 4,000 years in perfect triangles. So lay out your triangles here to make your bridge. Once you've laid out the shape, you can connect them with your gumdrops. And if you want to, you can take a little for the bridge and a little snack for yourself. Connect up your toothpicks with your gumdrops. Don't worry, you can adjust the shape a little bit. And also, if you don't have gumdrops at home, that's okay. You could use clay or silly putty or anything else that's sticky. But gumdrop bridges come with a snack and they're also very pretty looking. So if you can see, I'm following my triangle pattern and connecting my bridge. So many, many years ago, there used to be a kind of bridge called a beam bridge. Can you picture this kind of bridge from a fairy tale? The kind of bridge that kind of goes in an arc where trolls live under. This beam bridge is an old design. And beam bridges can go for some distance, but they're not as strong and tough as modern bridges. Engineers in the modern world needed strong bridges that could cross more space and hold more weight. And so the truss bridge, whoops, sometimes your toothpicks break, that's okay. The truss bridge was invented to make the strong bridges we know today. All right, we're almost done connecting our sample bridge. See those triangles taking shape? And we'll put our last one in here. So does this shape look familiar? Can you name some famous bridges that have a truss shape? Ever seen the Golden Gate Bridge? Have you ever driven across one yourself? There's a bridge in South Carolina that's very tall and is a truss bridge like this. I used to be scared when I was driving on it, but now I know triangles are one of the strongest shapes possible and they make truss bridges safe. So when I cross that bridge, I'll never be scared again because I know the triangle is working for me. So now we have our shape and you can continue to connect it from the top here, making that nice strong truss. This kind of truss bridge was invented in 1848. It's been around for a long time, but there are many different patterns of truss bridge, and I challenge you to try some other ones as you practice being an engineer today. So 
So we're connecting up the top now, you can see. And we'll put our last little trusses in place. And maybe a snack for me. Mmm, pretty good. Okay. There we go. Almost there. Okay, our truss bridge is nearly complete. Let's see, what else does it need? Can you see? Oh yeah, one more connection up here. And then we're good. Look at all those triangle shapes. Old style beam bridges just couldn't hold the same amount of weight as a truss bridge. So why are truss bridges so strong? The secret is the triangle, and the triangle works. Let's put in our final piece of bridge. Ta-da! The triangle works, if you can see, to channel weight from the bridge down into the ground. The triangle shape is so strong, and it allows trucks and cars and elephants and everything to cross the bridge because the weight on the triangle points goes straight into the earth. So whenever you're on a big bridge and you're feeling a little scared, don't worry. The triangle is strong. So how strong is it? Let's give it a shot. I made this bridge a little earlier. And this bridge is a little longer than our sample. But you can make a bridge as long as you like. You can make a bridge with double toothpicks. You can make a bridge with different truss patterns. And test it out in any way that you like. Just don't use anything breakable, because you never know when your bridge might hit the weight limit. So let's give it a shot. On my bridge, I put it down on two Tupperware that are strong and stable, called the bridge span. I made a little road out of some card stock, like an index card, and we're putting it right here. So, the weight's being channeled downward. And now, on our bridge, we have a zoo escape. Let's see. All right, we definitely need some elephants on this bridge. We're gonna put them right there. They're about to get um, away from the zoo. Um, let's help them out. Let's put some cars on the bridge. Of course, you have to have some of those. We definitely need a zebra. I think they're all kind of getting out of the zoo today. Look at the bridge. It's not even phased. There's no bending or breaking at all because the triangles are channeling weight. Um, let's add a tiger friend. And let's say uh, they're escaping from the zoo and so there's a traffic jam. We'll put some more cars on here. And you can use whatever you like to uh, simulate your bridge test. Okay, oh, oh nice uh, race car there. Let's put him on the bridge as well. Um, how about another car? Big traffic jam, everybody's beeping. There's so many cars on this bridge because a hippopotamus has joined the traffic jam and they're all getting out of the zoo. Nothing so far, if you can see, those triangles are super strong. But what happens if, uh-oh, something's coming out of the water from the bridge. It's a giant sea coral. It wants to escape with the zoo animals as well, and so we're gonna put it on the bridge. Nothing yet. Truss bridges are a very strong design. So, what else? Um, let's add a few more cars. What kind of cars do we have here? Mm, nice Corvette there. And let's see. All right, some race cars. The bridge is getting pretty full. And now, uh, rumbling in the sky. Something is flying out of space. This is a lava rock. It's pretty heavy and pretty big. Can you see it? Um, a volcano has exploded and it's landing on our bridge. Still nothing. Pretty amazing how engineers figured this out. Engineers design everything around us to make it safe and strong. So, um, let's see, what else? Um, let's see, let's add, how about a big heavy cow? This is a giant cow escaping from the zoo. Let's add that, nothing yet. Okay, a rumbling from the ocean, another one. 
This is sea coral called brain coral. This is a pretty big chunk of coral. Do you think the ridge will hold up? Let's keep experimenting. Let's see, I'll move my cow so we can put our coral on it. Wow, isn't that amazing everybody? For something that looks so small and simple, it's a powerful design. Oh, but I guess cows and coral and lava rocks was just a little too much for this bridge. Now it's your turn engineers. I want you to experiment with your own bridge. You can make it long, you can do double toothpicks, you can design different truss bridge types. Just Google truss bridge type and you'll see different forms and see how much you can stack on your truss bridge. Have fun engineers and thanks for joining us today. Bye for now.